Hi everyone, I'm Jack Red, and I'm going to do the main series for the Mortal Kombat. So that, uh, and what I will let you know, I will do videos for the updates, the spinoffs, and the movies. What the good thing about this one is that I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the eighth game when that comes out. So without a further ado, I'm going to go run into the interview, go down to the point. Uh, Mortal Kombat was a great game. It was the first game. I ever played uh, at the age 5, you probably think someone like me should be in that house, but no, I'm a pretty decent guy when you get to know me, and I do have some good input to tell you about the series. It's my favorite game series, it got me into fine games, it got me into game video games in general. Now, what I have to really say is that I, I like the latter side. You go get six characters, and then um, you, you take on whoever you are in a mirror match. You go into two indoor matches, I'm sorry, three, and you take on two people each. You take on Garl, and you take on Shinzo. And you got a hand character named Reptile, it's, which was basically Sub-Zero and Scorpion combined. I thought that was really awesome. Well, uh, More Coming 2 was my favorite main installment out of them all. It, it followed the original so good that I've called it the perfect sequel. It was really well done. It was, um, it basically, it's basically how they described it in the history of the uh, of the series. As, um, they basically took one and they basically doubled it. And that's what exactly what they did. I love it. It was a, an awesome game. It still has the hardest ladder in the main installment line. Not including the updates, of course. More coming to read. This is where I believe the series starts falling. Falling down. Which I'm not referencing which I'm not referencing to a movie with Michael Douglas in it. Even though that was good too, but um it, it changed the controls. Um it 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 made things complicated a little bit. It has some cool fatalities, I have to admit that. It has some cool levels. Taking on Shao Kahn was a real pain. In fact, I'm going to confess that it's the only main series game I have yet to complete. I gave it a series of tries, believe me, I have. It is hard as crap for me. And yes, you can laugh at me, ha 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 I'm going to want you to know I'm going to laugh at you, and I'm going to give you a big nasty comment right back. Hope you like that. So, what kind of core was the worst arcade game out of all? Because of this duple uh, uh, drop that um, was the last one to be in the arcades. And it, was, it, it stayed true to the original a bit. I mean, sure, it didn't stay GD, it went on in the 3D. I mean, it brought the series in the 3D. It did a little okay. Um, it, it created some of my favorite fatalities. It's just the only problem is it doesn't fly as well as 2D did. And that's where I believe is where the problem kicks in. This was later fixed in its sequel, Deadly Alliance. More kind of Deadly Alliance, maybe, right? It's a really good game. You have more characters, more fatalities. You've got Conquest mode, which is the longest. You start out with Scorpion with 12 missions, while everybody else are 10, and then you unlock Blaze and Mocap, which are under two characters at the very bottom of it. But you would know that once you, you do play the game and do you go for that amazing difficulty in, uh, so of a mode like that. Um, the Crypt is really big. You get A first, A, two, Z, uh, Z, A, A, to Z, Z, and that's basically uh, how big it is. Believe me, it is pretty big. You can get lost if you want to buy something. Make sure you buy rest the coffin. The sequel, uh, more kind of Deception, was really good. It has a shorter um, crit mode. <coughs> it has um, a better conquest mode. Even brings in puzzle combat, puzzle uh, chess combat. It, well, we're enjoying it. with the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox One. You get 12. You have to get 12 people in. Uh, however, with the GameCube, you have to get six. And then when it, then when when uh, when and then when it's up to, which I'm not revealing, but I'm just wanting to know about this, that you, you don't have to unlock anybody. And we're getting more coming. We're getting was the second All Stars game of the series. It has been to everybody for the series, except for a few uh, minor people, and it did really bad. I'm sorry. It it, it, it got me into playing the game. It's just, it didn't feel like more kind of like when I played it. 
Man, I, I expected a lot more than this. I mean, Troll View is what you call an Ostrosh game. And I admit that. Um, here's my thoughts on Mortal Kombat for the DC Universe. Despite the fact that it's going to be the only T rated game and the fact that it would be finishing moves, it's going to have good story, it's going to have good fighting. I believe the game's going to be a success. And I am a true Mortal Kombat fan to admit this. I'll see you all later, and I hope you enjoy it.